Today's Buicks continue the long line of quality automobiles produced by Buick. With comfortable seats and responsive engines, it is no wonder that the great American road belongs to Buick. Buicks have always been premium American road cars. The first car I can remember was my dad's 54 Buick. It was beautiful. I want to go to Grandma's. I want to sit in the front seat. It was a convertible. A chrome stripe followed the body's contour. A sleek yet solid design. The seats were plush and the interior seemed huge. The big steering wheel had three solid spokes. The dash looked like the cowl from a fighter plane. That baby had a hood ornament shaped like the sight of a machine gun. The grill always seemed to be smiling. But it was on the road that the Buick excelled. Like the Buicks that came before and those that have followed, it was smooth, distinctive, and powerful. The Buick tradition of luxurious appointments, comfortable seats, and responsive power for all types of highways continues in today's Buicks. Buick's proven electronic level control system, or ELC system, allows Buick vehicles to maintain that renowned Buick ride under a variety of load conditions. The Buick ride is the result of continued research and development. Many of today's Buicks utilize a highly sophisticated electronic level control system to provide a distinctive riding experience. Now let's take a look at the components that make up the electronic level control system. The rear air struts mechanically raise and lower the vehicle. Air adjustable struts are similar to regular struts, except they have a rubber-like sleeve attached to the dust tube and strut reservoir. This sleeve forms a chamber which extends the strut when air pressure is increased in the chamber. To pressurize the struts, a compressor assembly is located under the hood. Consisting of a single piston air pump, the compressor assembly contains an intake and exhaust valve, plus a solenoid-operated exhaust valve, which releases air from the struts when energized. Connected to the compressor assembly is an air dryer. The air dryer contains a dry chemical, which absorbs moisture from the air before it is pumped to the struts. When air is exhausted from the system, the moisture is returned to the air. The air dryer also contains a series of valves which maintain 7 to 14 psi of pressure in the struts. This residual air pressure helps provide a smooth ride and prevents the flexible air bladders from wearing against the strut housing. Flexible plastic air lines are used throughout the system. The air line runs from the engine compartment to the rear suspension through the passenger compartment next to the wiring harness. Should the airline develop a leak in a section running through the passenger compartment, route a new airline along the fuel lines, securing it with plastic fasteners. But make sure the airline doesn't contact the exhaust system. Snap connectors are used to attach airlines to system components. To ensure a leak-proof seal, these connectors must be used when making a repair. Moving down the pressure line, the component between the compressor and air struts is the pressure limiter valve. As its name suggests, the pressure limiter valve restricts maximum pressure to the rear struts between 64 and 74 psi. By limiting system pressure, a smooth Buick ride and long electronic level control component life is assured. A solid state height sensor controls the compressor and exhaust solenoid. 
The height sensor directs Buick's proven electronic level control system, which in turn helps Buick's modern suspension improve upon the renowned Buick ride of years past. The sensor is mounted to the body subframe. It has an adjustable actuator arm, which is attached to the right rear control arm via a short link. The electronic level control relay, located in the relay center behind the glove box, completes the circuit to the compressor motor. The height sensor controls this relay. As the vehicle is loaded, the suspension is compressed. When the suspension is compressed, the height sensor actuator arm is forced up. A 7 to 27 second delay, depending upon vehicle model, is programmed into the sensor to make sure the suspension compression isn't caused by a pothole or uneven road surface. Then, the height sensor signals the electronic level control relay, which activates the compressor. The compressor pumps air into the rear struts until the vehicle reaches its original trim height. Now, if the load is removed from the vehicle, and the rear of the vehicle rises above trim height, after a predetermined delay, approximately 20 seconds on this vehicle, the height sensor energizes the exhaust solenoid. Excess air is exhausted from the system until the vehicle reaches trim height. Let's take a look at how to check the system to make sure that it's working properly. Turn the ignition on. After a 40 second delay, the compressor should run for approximately 4 seconds, filling the air struts with 7 to 14 psi of air pressure. This residual pressure ensures a smooth ride and prevents the strut air bladders from rubbing against the struts and wearing prematurely. Next, have two people get into the rear seat or add approximately 300 pounds of weight to the trunk. After an approximate 20 second delay, the compressor motor should run and the rear of the vehicle should rise to within three quarters of an inch of the vehicle's empty height. Next, remove the weight. As the weight is removed, the vehicle should rise above trim height. After a delay of approximately 20 seconds, a hiss should be heard from the electronic level control compressor assembly as the rear of the vehicle lowers. Again, to within three quarters of an inch of its empty height. But like any other vehicle system, electronic level control components are not immune to malfunction or misadjustment. Diagnosing and repairing electronic level control problems is not very difficult. In this case, for example, we have a vehicle which is too low and the compressor doesn't run. First, look in the symptom diagnosis guide found in the know-how reference manual or in the Buick Electrical Systems Manual. There, locate the symptom that most closely matches the complaint and perform the diagnostic tests in the order indicated. For a vehicle which is too low when loaded and in which the compressor doesn't run, check and see whether the link is attached to the actuator arm. The next step is to check the electronic level control height sensor adjustment. A tool has been developed which makes electronic level control height adjustment and component testing a precise operation. Let's see how the J34825 electronic level control test box works. To check the system for component problems, Plug the test box leads into the height sensor and body harness. Initially, set the switches to ignition reset, off, and auto. The ignition reset switch resets the time delay function on the height sensor. Otherwise, the compressor may shut off after running for a short period and falsely indicate a component failure. To check system circuitry before performing a component check, move the ignition reset switch to battery reset. The battery and ignition lights should illuminate. 
Now, disconnect the link from the actuator arm. Move the actuator arm up. After a 20 second delay, the compressor indicator light on the test box should illuminate and the compressor should run. Next, move the actuator arm back down to the trim position. The trim indicator light on the test box should illuminate. Continue by moving the actuator arm to the exhaust position. After a 20 second delay, the exhaust solenoid should energize and the exhaust indicator light on the test box should illuminate. Now, if the compressor, trim, or exhaust lights don't illuminate, move the auto manual switch to manual operation. Then move the compressor exhaust switch to compressor and then exhaust. If the compressor comes on and pumps air into the struts and then exhausts properly, the problem lies in the height sensor or wiring harness. Check the wiring for shorts or grounds. If the wiring is okay, replace the height sensor. However, if the compressor doesn't run, the problem is the compressor or wiring harness. Again, check the wiring harness for grounds or shorts. If the wiring is okay, see compressor dryer performance test procedures in the know-how reference manual or in the Buick service manual. The test box tool makes system diagnosis an easy procedure. In addition, the tool can be used to accurately check or adjust height sensor actuator arm position. But first, several preliminary checks should be made. As when doing any suspension work, check that the tires are properly inflated. The fuel tank is full, the front seats are in the rearmost position, and there is no load in the vehicle. Now, jounce the vehicle three times to settle the suspension. Measure the vehicle's trim height K on both sides of the vehicle. Trim heights should not vary by more than three quarters of an inch. Improper trim height may indicate worn springs or damaged suspension components. In such a case, the electronic level control system would not be the cause of the low trim height. As when checking system components, connect the ELC test box to the ELC height sensor and body harness. Be sure to reset the height sensor timing function by cycling the ignition reset switch and then placing the ignition reset battery reset switch in the battery reset position. The battery and ignition lights should illuminate. If the vehicle is at trim height K and the trim light is on, no adjustment to the actuator arm is necessary. On the other hand, if the trim light is on and the vehicle is above trim height K, loosen the ELC height sensor adjustment screw and move the plastic actuator down. After a 20 second delay, the exhaust light should illuminate on the test box and the vehicle should lower. When the vehicle settles down to trim height K and the trim light comes on, the electronic level control system is properly adjusted. The adjustment procedure is similar if the vehicle is below trim height K and the trim light is on. In this case, loosen the adjustment screw and move the plastic actuator arm up. After a 20 second delay, the compressor light should illuminate, the compressor should start, and the vehicle should begin to rise. When the vehicle reaches trim height K and the trim light comes on, the electronic level control system is properly adjusted. And properly adjusted, the electronic level control system is an integral part of Buick's modern suspension system. A suspension system which advances the Buick tradition of a smooth ride and stable handling. The height sensor is the control center of the electronic level control system. Properly adjusted, it maintains correct ride height over a variety of load conditions. 
and remembering that even small suspension adjustments change a vehicle's ride and handling characteristics. The electronic level control is an important component of the sophisticated suspension found on new Buicks. Electronic level control helps new Buicks ride even better than the classic Buicks of the past. And improving upon the past is important because today's drives, they're the good old days of tomorrow.